Right, so today we're doing a video that I probably should have done a long time ago. I believe the last EDC update video that I did was back in April of 2020, uh, right when the pandemic was barely starting out. While ever since, I've kind of been just indoors, not really going too many places, I actually work from home, so I haven't really updated my EDC collection too much. But it has been a minute, and I think it's about time to show you guys what I've been carrying lately. Some things are a little bit different, and surprisingly, some things haven't changed. So we'll just start off with my front left pocket, and then we'll just go through everything, and I'll let you guys know what's new, what's different, what I like, and what I don't like about the stuff that I have. All right, so starting off with my front left pocket, we're gonna start off with my phone. This is actually an old phone. This is a OnePlus 7 Pro, and the case that I put on here is just gonna be a matte black Spigen case. As far as the phone goes, you know, I have not had any issues with it. As you guys know, phones can be pretty damn expensive. So I'm not somebody that needs to have like the best, greatest and latest phones. So as of now, the OnePlus 7 Pro has been working just fine. So that's why I have that one. The Spigen case, I mean, also again, it works just fine. I have no issues with it. So I don't replace the cases unless I need to. All right, so next on the list here, we actually have my watch. This is gonna be the Galaxy 4. This is actually the first time I carry like one of these smart watches that have their own service and stuff like that. I do like the idea of not having to have your phone in your pocket at all times. You know, if I'm like just out doing whatever and I don't wanna be carrying this big phone in my pocket, then at least, you know, I'm not gonna miss any of my texts, any of my phone calls. It does track like your steps, your heart rate, things like that. Uh, other than that, I don't really use it for too many other things. Just basically, just your basic stuff. It is a pretty cool watch, so so far I do enjoy using it. All right, so next in my front left pocket, we have the flashlight. That's where I usually carry it. And this flashlight is gonna be the T1S by Night. As you guys know, if you guys keep up with the channel, I do go through a lot of flashlights. There is a lot of companies that send me flashlights, so as far as flashlights go, I do change them all the time. To be honest, I put them all around my house. So a lot of times it's whatever is closest to me, whatever I pick up and grab. But lately I have been using this T1S because it is small. I do like the small pocket carry little EDC flashlights. Um, those are my favorite when it comes to, you know, just throwing in your pocket. They're super lightweight. So I, I definitely like those. One thing about this one that I do like a lot is that it does have the magnetic tail end on it. So you can actually, you know, stick it to anything and it will, you know, stick on there. It's pretty bright for a small everyday carry. This is actually gonna be 1,212 lumens. It does have all your, you know, your typical settings, low, medium, bright. Um, you can also get it to do strobe. It is a pretty good light as far as needing something like really bright, but something that's small and you can definitely carry in your pocket. I also like that the charging port on this is USB-C. So that kind of works well with like my phone and my laptop and a bunch of other stuff that I have. I can use the same cord to charge it up. Right, so moving on to my keys for like my truck. I do carry a couple things on the ring. The first thing I carry is like a little, it's kind of like a little belt clip thing, but it has a couple other little features. Besides the little belt clip here, it also has a bottle opener on the end here. It also has a little light. So like if I don't want to pull out my everyday flashlight or I'm just needing a small little light to open the door, whatever it is, uh, there is another little light. There's a button there. You know, it's, it's not going to be super bright, but it's just for, you know, those times where you just need a very dim little light for really anything. If you're looking at your glove compartment, Apartment, whatever it is but anyways it, it did come with the thing as well as the bottle opener and then the carabiner so I thought it was pretty cool so I've been carrying around that for a while I do have a little knife on my keychain here this knife was actually sent to me by a company called peak spec uh, this is the their micro dart blade I believe it is super small and lightweight so you can attach it to your keys just like this it has a little flipper on the end of it so you just hit that flipper and then you kind of finish it off with your thumb there. This is actually perfect for like opening boxes. I don't actually use it too often, but and I need a knife or whatever, you know, then I will use this. I will pull it out. Basically, you're going to open boxes, cut rope, anything like that. This is a pretty cool knife for that. It has a little groove on the bottom here, so you can actually stick your index finger on there, put your other thumb on the, on the little thumb opening, and then you get a good little grip on it. And this thing 
also has a belt clip if you wanted to instead of using it as a keychain just use that as a little pocket everyday carry for those of you that really likes to carry small tiny little knives it does have a pocket clip on there but pretty cool definitely like having something like this on my keys at all times all right so next on the list here we have uh, my wallet and surprisingly enough i've been carrying around for this for a while it's got to be going on maybe like two years two and a half years already and this is gonna be the wallet extra gave me i don't know if you guys ever watched a review video on this um if you didn't i'll link it down there or somewhere but um this wallet is has a little mechanism here that when you hit it, your cards come out. It makes it super simple to just grab the card that you need. You know, if you flip this upside down, your cards do not fall out. When I first got this, I didn't think I was gonna use it for so long, but it's been a minute now and I still carry this around with me. Before this, I had the small minimalist Magpul wallet, which I really like this wallet. This was a pretty cool wallet. Definitely something that, you know, if you want a slim, super slim wallet, this is a good one. This one I used to carry in my back pocket. Cannot do that with this. It's a little bit thicker, you know, so that's kind of the trade-off with these. But before I had the Magpul wallet, I had this, you know, your old school, super thick, chunky wallets. Uh, of course, never going to go back to this again. Uh, these wallets are just so much better. But as far as the extra wallet, it does have this like, pretty nice premium leather on it. And it's been, what, like two years, and it's held up pretty nice. Mm, haven't really had any tearing, any issues with it. So it's actually held up pretty damn nicely. The little strap on here is actually still pretty good. This is where I stick, you know, some cash bills. And it hasn't really stretched out or anything like that. I've never had money fall out of it. So it does work pretty good. Has a couple pockets here on the other side here on the front. You know, I usually put my license and uh, just a couple other important things. And then it does have a pocket in the back. But as far as the wallet goes, I do like it. It is pretty cool. The little mechanism makes it super simple to just take out, you know, the cards that I need. So that's why I've been carrying this for a while. All right, so next on my right pocket, this is where I carry my EDC knife. Uh, as far as knives go, I do change them up sometimes. Again, it kind of almost like the flashlights here. I do have some knives scattered all over my house and it's kind of like whatever I grab, that's what I use. That's what I'll stick in my pocket. Lately, I've been using this one from SOG. This is the Flash AT, has a nice quick little opening. It does have a locking mechanism. Uh, overall, I like this knife. To be honest, I'm not one that buys really, really expensive knives. I kind of like buying knives in the maybe the $50, $60 range. Uh, I don't like spending 100 bucks or more on a knife. This one, I believe, was a little bit more than 60 bucks. It's probably one of the most expensive knives that I've bought in. First of all, I did like the colors on it. Just an overall knife looks really nice. The clip here is a deep carry clip which i do like that in knives to be able to carry this all the way in your pocket and for not to show just the clip it has a locking mechanism which to be honest i don't really use it that much but if you are looking for like a locking mechanism this one is a pretty cool one to have the opening on this is going to be a thumb opening it is very springy when you open it you know it just kind of shoots out the only other knife that i have that springs out really fast like that is the kalashnikov I absolutely love that knife. I know it's one of your cheaper automatic knives, but when you hit that button, it just, you know, flings out. This one's kind of the same. You just gotta flick it out with your thumb and uh, put the spring on there is uh, really, really nice. Now the blade on here is gonna be the Cryo D2 blade. As far as holding a sharp edge, I am pretty rough with my knives. I open a lot of boxes. I try to cut a lot of things with the rope. I do feel like I beat up my knives a lot. So it was pretty sharp when I first got it, but now, you know, it's a little dull. From time to time, I do have to sharpen it up. But overall, it, it does hold on to that sharp edge for a pretty good amount of time there before I have to sharpen it up again. It does have some jimping on the top there as well as a couple little grooves here. So when you grab it, you know, it does feel secure in your hand. It makes it really easy to like really get in there and cut stuff without the fear of like your hand sliding or cutting yourself up or anything. So, and then to close it up, it has this other little mechanism. You just pull it back and then the knife closes up like that. And then the only thing else I really carry in my pocket are my um, earbuds. To be honest, these are super, super cheap. 
I believe even in my 2020 EDC video, I actually had these on there and these are the sound peats. I want to say these things are like maybe like 30, $35 at the most. The sound of these are actually pretty decent for what, 30, $40 earbuds. Uh, the case itself is a rechargeable case. This thing will charge your earbuds a ton of times over, maybe like 10, 15 times before you actually have to charge up the case. It just goes like forever before I have to charge this thing up. Now, unfortunately, this does have, you know, it is older, so it does have the micro USB, but that's okay. You know, since I don't have to charge it up as much, uh, it's not such a big deal. I do have still a couple things. I have micro USB. So that's kind of the only thing as far as like old school on this thing. But other than that, like, I don't really care. I'm not trying to get like $200 earbuds. Uh, these are more just like, you know, just out and about doing other stuff. Then I will throw these on and just listen to music sometimes or whatever. Or if I need to like take a phone call. All right, so that's pretty much it guys. I don't carry too much stuff and to be honest, I work from home so a lot of the stuff sometimes I don't even carry in my pocket. Uh, I do like to carry my knife in my pocket at all times. Uh, sometimes a flashlight, but mainly just my knife. Everything else kind of just stays wherever in my house and uh, I'll just grab stuff whenever I need it. Basically my phone and my knife is what I have with me at all times and this other stuff like when I leave the house. And but that was pretty much it for my everyday care. If you guys are interested, like in knowing what any of the stuff is, I'll try to link it down below. But I would like to know what you guys carry in your everyday carry. So in the comments below, you know, make a list of like your, the phone you have, your knife, your flashlight, uh, and just any other cool little gadget that you carry around with you at all times. I would love to hear about your guys' everyday carry items. All right, guys, that was it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hopefully I can put a lot more videos out here coming up soon. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.